Hello guys, uh, my name is Akshay, I'm from Pune and uh, today I have uh, approached uh, techtree.com to review my uh, speaker system that was home built and uh, done by me and my uh, father. Uh, basically the reason to approach uh, techtree.com was to uh, make an awareness in our country to do DIY projects and inspire people. We have made two sets of speakers. So this is a three-way speaker using PLS fabric and divers. Uh, this is an eight-inch woof, woofer, uh, four-inch uh, mid and uh, silk dome tweeter. And uh, this cabinet is made out of uh, 18 millimeters MDF uh, cabinet, uh, insulated with the foam material inside. Uh, both the speakers have uh, two individual crossovers. Now this is the uh, amplifier based on uh, conductors which are called uh, LM3886 and these are the two actual uh, amplifiers for two channels. This is the uh, power transformer, toroidal transformer. So this actually eliminates the hum if you compare it to the regular uh, transformers. This entire project uh, costed me 17,000 rupees approximately. Uh, didn't really calculate the whole thing. <laughs> it took me uh, almost six months to do everything, right from cutting my MDF to uh, you know painting it uh, by my hand. And uh, I got to know this projects. Uh, from certain forums and certain websites, there is a website called DIY Projects, and uh, I got also inspiration from uh, you know TechTree.com itself, where you know uh, they do a lot of uh, reviews of products, and uh, I have been their reader for like last seven or eight years. So you know uh, from these things, I got the inspiration. <laughs> well. Uh, these are the drivers I bought from uh, Borivli. Uh, these are from the direct PLS drivers. Uh, basically, uh, what I have done in my house is construction of these uh, cabinets, uh, assembling of this uh, uh, your uh, amplifier, and uh, the parts I have bought it in, the woofers or the drivers I have bought it in, and I got my crossovers made from a person in Washi. So I was like traveling. Uh, all over the places researching you know where to get my wires from where to get my drivers from where to get my crossovers done from i spent almost like two months running around for these components and these uh, things and uh, finally i got my homework done and i assembled everything so uh, they are available uh, online and uh, they are available also on the semiconductor national semiconductor uh, website There was only one difficulty, uh, sourcing the right uh, raw material or sourcing the right kind of uh, you know equipment and components for this. Uh, sourcing was not a problem, finding the proper person and finding a place was difficult for me. Correct. And I am not from the same profession, I am not an electrical engineer or anything, I am a chef by my profession. And, uh, that was really a challenging task for me to find my components and everything. But uh, I got it done. I found those places. Uh, my father is an electronic engineer. Uh, he got sorted off a lot of things. You know, he uh, got those PCBs done from his friends, and uh, he actually assembled this amplifier. And uh, you know, we we did it together. Second difficulty was the time it took to do. <laughs> so it was like really uh, challenging for me, you know, like doing a job and coming home and doing this, doing this. and finishing in it in a timeline. You know, people who are going to do this kind of project, you know, beware of you know the time you are going to take, uh, and you know your family will probably not like it. Not like it, you know, <laughs> keeping that stuff in your house for you know like five and six months. Right. So that was like that was like uh, next challenge I had. Uh, right. Other than that, no, it was really enjoying uh, or really fun experience. Uh, 
uh, for this drivers and crossover networks uh, i found bombay a bit better place to you know get those uh, delivered and uh, for components i think uh, pune was the best place for me you know uh, there is a proper area for electronics components called uh, it's near budwar pet and uh, places like prime electronics and everything they they have everything with them now uh, to build these speakers we use this uh, uh, workbench and uh, this is the wise way what we used and uh, me and my father used to work on this bench making those uh, cabinets and assembling those speakers so this is my garden what we used to this is my like we are actually work area and even you know uh, this table is homemade just couple of months back and uh, this is the area what we use to make and uh, like uh, you know build everything together and this is where i keep my tools and everything a bit bit, bit to uh, dark messed up but <laughs> oh what is this this looks interesting this is uh, this now uh, is a new project and uh, you know we are building a windmill homemade okay for power generation for power generation at our farm house and uh, we have tested it uh, this is in like uh, we have dismantled it currently but it will be completed in a month or so okay so you know after after a couple of months you know you can uh, have again a video of my windmill also <laughs>